I'm going to start out this video and preface it by saying that I am not a makeup professional, obviously. <laughs> I am just a mom who usually only has 15 minutes or so to get ready, including my hair um, and makeup. So, and I usually use Dollar Tree products because we don't have a ton of money to spend on beauty um, essentials. So, this is what I do. <laughs> if you are looking for an expert, this is probably not the channel. Hi everybody. I don't know if you can see me. April Simpson Hunt of Mermaid Mama Designs here and Aquila. Say hi. Hi guys. Ah. Hi guys. Ah. Mommy is making a get ready with me video. And Aquila won't leave me alone. So. Yeah, mommy. So I just watched a get ready with me video. Hang on. Let me see if I can find the lady that I've watched one from. Um, it's called Get Ready With Me Mom Edition, and that is from Carly Holden, and that is Carly with two E's, K-A-R-L-E-E -E Holden. Um, it was the most real Get Ready With Me Mom video that I've ever seen, so she inspired me. I keep trying to make this video and then getting frustrated because there's so many kids crying and all that, and I can't get it all cut out, so we're going to do Get Ready With Me real life edition. So, I've got a mirror here. I've got a mirror here to get ready, but of course, because we're on life, there are fingerprints and crap. Oh, I don't even want to know what's on it, honestly. Probably boogers. Huh. Did you put boogers on this mirror, Quilla? Did you put boogers on this? There we go. Okay, so shout out to Carly Holden. Thank you, Carly, for inspiring the making of this video. Although, to be honest, I've been trying to do this now for a while, but um, mom life. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera view so you can actually see the makeup that I'm putting on. Ooh, she actually left. Woo! We might actually get through the video today. <laughs> okay, um, before I get the camera set up in place and I start doing my makeup and I have just this pretty plain background behind me and things, and it looks unreal to you. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes setup. So I am in this desk area, which is like three feet, <laughs> so it's pretty narrow. Um, over here I have this mirror, which is honestly just a mirror that I'm going to use for my living room, my products, and then my makeup bag, which my daughter's probably going to get into here in a second. No, 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 no. <sighs> Exactly what I said, right? All right, so mom life. <laughs> I'm going to try and get ready. Actually, hang on, I'm burning up right now. I've got this really cute sweater on that I made, but it's uh, I'm burning up. Okay, probably because I got all this light on me. Um, okay, so I set the camera in place. My daughter's in this age right now where she's driving me crazy because she's like two and she's almost ready to be weaned, yet she wants boobs like all the freaking time. So. I don't know what's up with that, but like I said, it's driving me insane. So if she starts grabbing my boobs, that's what it is. She just nursed. Um, I actually washed my hair this morning for once. I don't very often get to do that, so that was exciting. Um, I didn't take a full fledged shower because I have all the kids. And I didn't want them to kill each other during the five minutes that I was in there. I washed my hair in the bath. Just bent over the tub. Um, I, I use co-wash. Are you combing your hair? I was co-washing and doing really good not using sulfates and things like that. Um, and then I got a bottle of dry shampoo. Uh, I have really fine oil prone hair. You can already see it's probably already starting to look a little greasy even though I just washed it. Um, so I struggle with co-washing because it takes about six weeks for my hair to not look greasy. Um, and I mom life, so I don't get to shower as often as I would like. Um, so I like to go sometimes three or four days between washing my hair. Um, and if you have oil prone hair, that's almost impossible to do because your hair starts to look a little crazy. Um, anyway, I was on the train and my hair was starting to look good and then I uh, got frustrated with it because it was all greasy and yucky looking. So I bought a bottle of dry shampoo and totally just wrecked everything that I had been trying to do. Um, so yesterday I realized that my hair was 
really just nasty looking because I had sprayed that dry shampoo which essentially has alcohol in it all over my roots so my hair was sticky and oily and just not a good look so I'm back on the train this morning and I co-washed so I don't know we will see I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm going to do what I can this little messy hair is driving me crazy Aquila can I get ready now can you go play all right I don't know why I switched to making a silent mime video at this point, but I did. So I think it's because my husband was downstairs, honestly, and I didn't want him to think I was being weird and talking to myself, um, which I do all the time anyway. So <laughs> um, anyway, I am putting on my new BB cream that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, the name of it is Sassy and Chic BB Beauty Cream Multi-Action Skin Care. Uh, it's just the lightest shade. I'm messing with the window to get some light in. It's a little too bright outside. And then I have a light bulb to my right, which is <laughs> casting this orange glow on my face. Um, but whatever. Just... I'm a total weirdo sometimes, so I turned the light bulb off because it was too bright and too warm anyway. Um, now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Corrective Yellow Cover Everything Concealer. I just use my ring fingers and dab it under my eyes. But if you've already watched one of my makeup videos, you know that I have absolutely no what I'm, clue what I'm doing. <laughs> As evidenced by me um, just messing with my video camera and I keep knocking it over. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Get it together, Mama. There it is. Okay. So, I'm dabbing the concealer around my eyes to try and get rid of my mom bags, which we all know is never going to happen. But you got to try, right? So, dab it around my eyes, try to get rid of everything, put it under my nose, <laughs> which is red from blowing it so often lately. And I put my hair back. As you can tell from the earlier parts of the video, I can't stop messing with my hair. So, um, and there's a dance move for you. So, and there I'm pointing up my breakout to you guys. So, just in case you're wondering, um, I have zits. <laughs> this is very, very real, real life, real life, guys. <laughs> zits and everything. So. Now I have my BB cream and my concealer on. Even in fast forward, it feels like that took a long time. I'm just saying, girl. Now I am putting some music on so that I have something to listen to. So now I'm gonna be even weirder. Oh, and drop all my makeup brushes. <laughs> have you ever opened your makeup brushes upside down? It's lots of fun. And now I'm singing to myself and dancing. But I'm scared to play the whole song for you because I think YouTube will take my video down. So, you're just going to get to watch me do a weird, goofy white girl dance. Oh yeah, this is Despacito. You can tell from the way that I'm dancing. Like a wannabe Spanish chick. <laughs> um, this is the Christina Cosmetics. Um, nice dance move there, girl. That's the Christina Cosmetics 4-in-1 um, corrective skin tone, whatever. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon or eBay. It comes with a blush and a tan color and then a normal skin color and a bronzer. There was a highlighter in there too, but I use it as powder because my skin is so white. Wow. Did you guys see that? Mama's got moves. <laughs> Hilarious. No wonder my husband laughs when I dance. Okay. So I'm setting my concealer and my BB cream with some powder. I'm also putting bronzer um, under the cheekbones on both sides and on my five head. Ha ha ha, I said five head. Isn't it funny when people call it that? Um, I try to like to try to make my forehead look smaller. So I apply it at my hairline and then at the very top of my forehead. And then I blend everything by using a round brush and going in small circles. 
Gonna give you a taste of what I've been listening to now. I just wanna hear you screaming, I bandido. Con este contigo. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito. No vamos dejando poquito a poquito. This is how we do it down in Puerto Rico. I just want to hear you screaming, ah, bendito. Oh, God, I'm doing it in the voiceover, too. Sorry, guys. All right, so now, while I search for some Lauren Hill on my computer, I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeshadow. That is the LAC color kit that I just got from the Dollar Tree. It has blues, turquoises, and browns in there. Um, sorry, LAC eyeshadow smoky um, in the supernatural colorway. Uh, I am applying the white shade and the lightest blue all over the top of my eye and highlighting my brow bone. Then doing weird dance moves at the same time. You could tell that I don't very often get to put on makeup without the kids around and I'm not rushing, so I'm trying to enjoy myself. <laughs> At least I think that's what I'm doing. So now I'm going to go in with another Dollar Tree Color Mates, Color Mates eyeshadow quad, or not a quad, obviously. There's like 16, whatever a 16 pack is. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with the lightest turquoise shade and put that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to take the darker shade once I'm done doing my goofy dance. They can't hear you, girl. They can't hear you. I muted you. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the darker teal shade and put it up in the crease and then along my lash line. Like I said, I don't normally have time to play with makeup this much. This was just, uh, Daddy ended up being off work today because of the snow, so I had more time and I was playing around and enjoying myself, obviously. I'm not sure I want to post this video, actually. <laughs> Um, but, uh, what the hell, we're going to be real, right? So, that's what I really look like when I'm dancing. <laughs> and applying makeup, apparently. Um, like I said, apply the darker shade along your lash line when you get done goofy white girl dancing. Um, now I'm going to comb out my eyebrows with this e.l.f. brush. Look for another song. Ooh, this one's going to have a good beat. I can feel it. Can you guys feel it? I think I'll play some for you here in a second. But right now, I'm brushing out my eyebrows using the e.l.f. comb and brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's about time that I trim them again, but I'm scared of eyebrows ever since high school when I um, plucked the inside of my eyebrows too far. I didn't really know what I was doing, and I was trying to get that skinny line. But instead of making a line with my eyebrows, I just plucked the ends of them on both sides. <laughs> and made more of a square shape. So that's what's wrong with them. Um, I'm still in the process of trying to get them back to normal. Um, and wrapping at the camera, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't wrap at the camera when they do their makeup? So now that my eyebrows are brushed out, I'm going to go ahead and go in. I'm going to go ahead and go in with <laughs> My eyebrow pencil, which is also from e.l.f. in the dark brown shade. Money. Something about money is what I'm singing about, obviously. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go in with the dark brown shade and just draw little tiny lines, feather them in so they don't look too dark um, in the spaces of my eyebrows to fill them in if I am ever stop talking to the camera or singing to the camera. Mm -mm. I think this is Lauren Hill that's on right now, honestly. <laughs> that's the one that I sing like that for. So uh, just feather it in lightly. Keep wrapping. <laughs> I use my finger to smudge away the parts that I don't like. And then keep using the brush uh, to make it look as natural as possible. I probably shouldn't be using a dark brown color because I have blonde hair, but 
it is what it is and I don't want to go out and buy another one so um, I don't normally do that but I guess I used it this day on my lash line as well um, right now I'm looking for my liquid liner in a dark brown shade to go into there it is <laughs> it's also from elf go into my lash line and apply it just along the very base and now I'm gonna play some music for you guys I'll let you guys listen to my uh, terrible singing there. You're welcome. What you know about that old school Lauren? Y'all know about that? Oh, thank God she stopped. I thought she was never going to stop singing. <laughs> uh, anyway, now I'm going in with a Wet n' Wild mascara. It's called Mega Wear by Wet n' Wild. I got it at the Dollar Tree, and this is the very black shade. Just wiggle it along the base of my lashes and drive it up towards the top. Um, and wrap some more... <laughs> Thank goodness I fast forwarded through all that for you guys. We would have been here all day. All right, sometimes I go in with um, a brow product from, I can't remember, honestly. Oh, it's from Unique. It is the Mood Struck Transplanting Gel, which is part of their uh, Lash Blast or whatever. <laughs> go back in and I find that makes my mascara stick just a little bit better. I thought of the 3D fiber mascara kit is what it is. Um, we're almost to the end. That's pretty much everything that I do to get ready. And this is on a good day. It took me about 20 minutes total, 25 minutes. I even put my elf lipstick on, which is insociable is the color. Thank you so much for watching this whole thing through to the end. I really appreciate you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for new content. Have a great day. I'll be over here. Oh, here.